In this video, we will create a Pi tag for the Pi interface for Relational Database, also known as the RDBMS Pi interface. This will use the simplest strategy for querying data from the Relational Database, the single tag query strategy. We have three servers in our architecture, a Pi server, a Relational Database, which in this video is a Microsoft SQL server, and a Pi interface node with a previously configured instance of the RDBMS Pi interface. Configuration of the RDBMS Pi interface with the Pi ICU is shown in another OSI Soft Learning Channel video. In the single tag query strategy, we are going to use a single SQL select statement to query data from the relational database table and populate a single Pi tag. This strategy is useful for testing the RDBMS Pi interface for pulling data from a table with only one data stream of interest. In this table, we have one column or one data stream that we would like to pull into Pi. We can pull back one row of data or multiple rows of data with different values and different timestamps for the same Pi tag. If you have a table with multiple columns of data or rows with different data streams, then either the tag group strategy or the tag distribution strategy would be a more efficient approach for querying the relational database. There are additional videos on each strategy. The SQL select statement used in the Pi tag configuration contains three columns, an optional column for the timestamp, a required column for the data value, and a required column for the status or quality of the data value column. Often, a zero is used for the status column. For this cluster status table, we would select the last modified time column as the timestamp, the active nodes as the value, and zero for the status column. Now, there are a couple of different ways that I can write my SQL statement to return timestamps and values for my tag. In the first method, I can use the execution time of the query for the timestamp. If I do not include a timestamp column in my query, as in this first SQL statement, the value of the active nodes column will be sent to the Pi server with the query execution time from the interface node. In this second SQL statement, including the now function in the query will return the execution time from the relational database with the value of the active nodes column. In the second method for returning timestamps and values for my tag, the timestamp is returned as a query parameter. In this case, I have a column in my cluster status table called last modified time that I want to use for the timestamps. The value of this column will be returned as the timestamp with the value of my active nodes column. Configurations are unique for every situation, so please download the relational database RDBMS via ODBC interface manual at the Tech Support Download website. In the interface manual, Chapter 7 discusses Pi point configuration, and Chapter 8 discusses writing SQL statements for the RDBMS Pi interface. To create our basic RDBMS Pi tag, I'm going to go to Pi System Management Tools into the point builder to create the tag. I need to give my tag a unique name and it must start with a character that is alphanumeric. Next, we're gonna configure the point source to match the point source that we defined for our RDBMS Pi interface in the ICU. We defined our unique point source for our RDBMS Pi interface to be RDB-SQL. On the Archive tab, I can define the exception and compression settings just as I would any other Pi tag. On the Classic tab, I'm going to set Location 1 equal to the interface ID of my RDBMS Pi interface in the ICU. And I'm going to set Location 4 to one of my scan classes that are defined for my interface in the ICU. Locations 2, 3, and 5 will depend on the tag retrieval strategy that I'm using for each tag. I'll want to look up in the interface manual the values I should use for each of these. For a basic tag, 
I can leave these at zero. The instrument tag, tag attribute, is used for the .sql file name when you're using a .sql for your SQL statements. I'm going to leave this blank and include my SQL statement in the extended descriptor. I'm going to type forward slash SQL equals to indicate that what follows is a SQL statement. I'm then going to type my simple SQL statement in double quotes here. For my pie tag, I'm going to use the first option with the execution time as the timestamp for my SQL statement. And then I'll create my tag by hitting the disk icon to save those changes. After a few minutes, this tag will be picked up by my RDBM MSPI interface. And we'll start updating with data from the relational database. I'm going to create a process book display to check to see that my values are up, my tag is updating. And we can see that my new pie tag is now updating with real data from the SQL Server.